Let's look first at Mohammed Siraj and what a day it was today for Mohammed Siraj. He was so excited. His first international at his home ground. His family was there. His mother was there to watch him. And you got the feeling he was a little emotional early on. But then that emotion went away in that first power play for five overs, one for 20. Then came back right at the end, picked up another couple of wickets. And he's become Rohit Sharma's go-to bowler. You look at those numbers. 10 overs, 4 for 46 in a 350 run chase. Those are numbers that Bumrah at his very best would be very proud to possess. And, you know, when you see someone just grow and start to take more responsibility, it's, it's one of the things you look for in a young cricketer. And the few things have given me more happiness than to see the growth of Mohammed Siraj. The other was, was Kuldeep Yadav. And I think he's getting more and more comfortable bowling at that extra pace. He's pushing the ball through sometimes. I thought the dismissal of Nichols was, was fantastic. Just did him in completely in the air. Couldn't read the ball off the track to get, an, to get a left-handed bowl off stump. Was, was fantastic. So, Kuldeep Yadav, 8 overs, 2 for 43. Uh, I would have liked to see him bowl 10 overs. But the moment Michael Bracewell started to play the way he did, it was always going to be very difficult to go back to Kuldeep Yadav. And I'll say, I'll say a word in favour of Shardul Thakur here. His first five overs, he only conceded 13 runs. Then two difficult overs. But guess what? He's got a heart that's huge. He came back and agreed to bowl the last over. And as it turns out, the Lord just makes things happen. But India bowling very well. I mean, you, you look at a performance like that from Michael Bracewell and you say, was the bowling really good enough? But most times, it was very, very good. 